Okay, I made this little tri-filer or quad-filer wire winders. I can work a little bit on my Benini coils. Uh, just got it finished last night and I've got several things that right now I just got some test wire on it see if it's going to do its thing. It seems like it's doing okay so let's, let's try it out. You can adjust the speed of this motor wired winding on and the one on the bottom for the is twisting it. Right now I've got it pretty decent speed. I'm just going to rough wind it on this one first then I'll wind it up smooth on another one. It's doing, doing great. A lot better than I anticipated. And there's the controls for the drill motor. It's just on a regular Milwaukee drill motor. This one controls the motor that makes the spinning. And I, I am using a, a sewing machine motor. the coils down here. I've got four set up right now. But I can divide them into two each so just ever how I want to do it. I've made also a this thing right here is a uh, wire length counter so I've got it set up to count for each revolution is one foot length so and it tells me back here on this little electric counter and I can set it up to where it counts revolutions but I haven't got it set up for this yet but just a little work in progress I'm going to machine all of my pieces to go on it to get it finished and I'm going to start winding on my coils I got three inch coils I've made for my Benini coils and it's going to take several of them and I got to line them up over here and get them all fixed for these right here made several of them I think I made 10 or 12 of them and I'll eventually get them filled with uh, wire and get them all wound trifiler I'm starting out here's my Benini motor uh, we'll start out with just with one coil once I get it wound just work with one circuit at one coil at a time get it going and then we gonna proceed on around and go to maybe then four six I think I've got several more I can put on here I'm gonna have to do a little machining clearance right here so I can get them all around here but as you can look this is a six inch scale laying on this wheel and it's about 14 inches in diameter and I've got several magnets spaced around here and I can do several things I can even I've sort of made it so I can stack them I can stack several rotors on top of each other and it spins very free. I got precision bearings in it. Everything's aluminum, stainless steel, plastic. And I've got several more already made up to wind. But gotta start 